I normally don't make rants that I feel like I need to share. I'm not like one of those wannabe feminists that expresses their thoughts and try to educate their fan base, but I feel like there is something that I feel like I need to get off my shoulders, and that is the fact that the atheist community is right now being torn in half between two groups. Those who are not feminists nor social justice warriors, and those who force social justice down into atheism, thus turning atheism into something that is clearly not. Uh, acting more like a cult than a group of people that is skeptical of just about any ideology. Sure, you could be... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> As I was saying. Sure, you could be an atheist and not be a skeptic, but that's what most atheists are. They are skeptical over the existence of a higher being and think outside of dogmatic ideologies. Thus, it's almost contradictory to become an atheist and a feminist because feminists have a history of forcing down uh, beliefs, uh, reinforcing laws that makes no no sense, such as manspreading and finding someone over two hundred fifty thousand dollars if they misgender someone. I mean, most fines don't even go that high. You know, you own a gun, maybe that's like about 7,000, but 250,000, at least that's what I remember. It's, it's fucking crazy. Uh, even if it was not on purpose, and keep in mind that you could be whatever gender you want to be. You know, your, your pronouns could be whatever. You could be the most masculine man on this planet and still go by female pronouns. So, yeah, pretty fucked up. You know, you better be careful what you say because the next thing you say might actually cost you $250,000 just because you hurt someone's feelings. Dear fucking Christ. <sighs> It comes to show that feminism is far beyond the simple belief of equality. It's about control over everything and using gender as a weapon. Which is why I'm making this video about Steve Shives. Now I know you heard this line before. Uh, if you were a part of the atheist community or at least you were a fan of Steve Shives. But I used to respect Steve Shives. He was the type of person that is willing to challenge religion without question. He was skeptical over things which made me like him so much. He was even willing to criticize uh, atheism because atheism taking things a bit too far. You know, uh, this was before, back before everything on YouTube exploded. Before Gamergate, before Nina Sarkeesian, the golden days of YouTube where you can rate a video uh, with stars instead of thumbs up and thumbs down and you can leave video responses but ever since his video about the justification of a bus sign that tells me not to masturbate on the bus he was a total asshole especially when he said go cry to the MRAs about unfair divorce course Ooh. as if unfair divorce court is not even a major issue you, you know how fucked up that is and his stupidity even goes further when he attacks the MRAs and Gamergate and the funny thing is I expect Steve Shives to defend himself at the very least because he's willing to defend himself when it comes to religion so it turns out People started to get blocked on Twitter, and he becomes your most typical just social justice warrior. Avoiding any form of rationality, going as far as to call Sargon of Akkad a mere troll on the internet. So, it comes to show that when you become a social justice warrior, you either the typical white knight, i.e. Kevin Logan, or a stuck-up bastard that doesn't respond very well to criticism and instead relies on their own fans to fill their ego and block onto either trolls on the internet or those who are easy to debunk. So this 
this is the end result of what happens when an atheist who's supposed to be skeptical turns into a social justice warrior. All form of skepticism is thrown out the window when it comes to feminism. Now, for the likes of Steve Shives, it's possible that his wife or, or girlfriend, whatever, can, you know, it, it's because he became a social justice warrior, his girlfriend, who say things about his collection being sexist. He had to give a fake smile. He's around. I mean, it seems like a very abusive relationship, you know, according to Steve Shives' body language. So, social justice warriors like Steve Shives are trying to bring back atheism plus back from the dead. Only this time they're trying to fuse religion with atheism. And, and, with, you know, I, I mean, excuse me. Only this time, instead of trying to fuse religion with atheism, they're fusing atheism with feminism. Thus, turning atheism into more of a cult than a simple belief that there is no God due to the lack of evidence. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.